Hey guys, Simmer Steph here with a speed build for you. I know some of you are probably going to think it's a little bit weird that I have this video going, but uh, I'm doing a bit of a channel revamp. Uh, it's been, you know, about eight months, so I decided to redo basically my entire channel. I deleted all my old videos. I did some new channel art. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm just trying to start from scratch, basically. And this is my first video back, so thanks for uh, watching. <laughs> um, so, yeah, basically, uh, there's a few things that I wanted to, you know, kind of mention before I start, you know, talking about the build that's going on in the background here. But, uh, basically, I just want to say that uh, it's not necessarily going to just be Sims. It'll still obviously be mostly the Sims. Um, but I'm probably also going to play some other games, um, things that I've seen online or, you know, that I have just on my computer anyways. Like, for example, I have City Skylines, which I'm really enjoying, or um, my boyfriend's downloaded a few other games. So, you know, whatever I think is fun at the time. Um, in terms of The Sims, though, I am going to try and do more builds because that was something I kind of slacked on before, um, because, you know, they obviously take a lot longer and, um, you definitely have to be in sort of a certain mood to be able to do a decent build. Um, but then I'm also going to try and do an LP and, um, a few challenges. There's a challenge that I found called the Drifter Challenge that I really am interested in watching, or, sorry, playing. I haven't started it yet, obviously, but I think that that's going to be the first um, challenge that I do. And then I'm also really interested in the Super Sim challenge that uh, The Sim Supply has been working on. Don't know, obviously, nothing set in stone yet, so if there's anything in particular that you want to see, just let me know. As for um, getting feedback, though, on that note, most of my videos are going to be done uh, a week or two in advance um, just because I have a full-time job and a part-time job so I really have to stay ahead of recording and um, getting the videos rendered and whatever because otherwise uh, you're gonna end up just not getting any videos because I won't have time to put them together um, so while I will read and reply and you know talk to you guys in the comments I won't be able to make any immediate changes in game because uh, it'll it'll be three or four episodes ahead or like later where you start to see the changes that you guys are making or like talking about so that's um, just kind of the reality of my situation right now I'm hoping to record on two or sorry post videos on Monday and Wednesday and then if I have time I'll also post one on um, either Friday or Saturday depending on what's easier for me Anyways, so back to the build. Um, right now I'm just working on um, the kitchen, obviously. Um, putting in a rug. I use one of the movie hanger rugs. I'm not sure. I think I change it later. Um, I was just really trying to put more color into my build because when I build I tend to just play, or sorry, use like blues, greens-ish because, you know, those are colors that I think look nice and they're, you know, my favorite colors. That's how I would probably decorate my room. But I obviously don't want all my builds to be exactly the same. So I'm playing with the wallpaper here. Um, I tried orange, didn't like it. And then I end up, I think I settle with this teal for a little while, but it does end up changing um, to a lighter color later on once I change the rug. Um, I mostly picked this color because I thought it picked, or I thought it matched um, the green in the rug. Go up here and I fiddle around with the loft a little bit. I didn't want it to just be like a completely randomly open space. Um, so I um, make the top floor a little bit smaller and um, make it so that I'm going to have a patio out to the side there. Um, I actually really like how this uh, build turned out. I was a little bit nervous about it because I tend to not be able to get Sims builds to do what I want them to do. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys like it as well. Um, yeah. Uh, going forward, I'm not really sure that I'm going to commentate on all the way through my builds just because I say I'm a lot. <laughs> I don't really know what to talk about. Um, for the most part, you guys can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it, so I don't really need to mention it, I don't think, at the same time. Obviously, if you guys want me to talk through them, I can do that for you, but that's obviously 
up to you. Uh, here I try and put in, use one of those like really um, big uh, chandeliers, if you want to call them that, um, because you can't really ever use them unless you have the really tall ceilings. And for, for some reason, I couldn't get it to work. Um, I actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm guessing it's because the ceiling might be a little bit funny there because I took out the floor. So that's actually something I'm going to have to look at when I go back into the game later. Um, but yeah, um, I end up just using just normal lights because I couldn't get the tall light to work in there properly. So I have the normal lights and then I'm trying to figure out wallpapers, um, which are basically the bane of my existence in The Sims. Uh, I love the spa day wallpaper, but they don't really have very many colors that I like. Um, they're mostly suitable for the bathroom or for small spaces in my opinion. Um, I think that using like a completely gray wall, especially when I wanted this to be colorful, just doesn't really work. So I tried that bright orange, um, but I figured that would be a lot for an entire room. Um, I guess in theory I could put it just behind the bed as like a feature wall sort of thing, but I didn't really think it would go very well against the exposed brick, which I really wanted to keep. Um, I play with windows a little bit, wanted something that would be central or like centered in that window or in that space, but all of the three tile width windows are ugly. <laughs> um, so I do this and on the inside it looks a little bit funny, it's a little off center, but on the outside it looks okay, at least in my opinion, so I decided to keep it like that. Put a dresser in, um, I don't leave it there, I end up getting a desk there instead. So these, there is no dresser in this house, no dresser or closet. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably turn that um, open space, you could put um, it into a closet. Obviously that would kind of take away the loft aspect of it, but if that was something that was important to you, you could do that. Or you could just extend the house, obviously, or make the patio smaller. Whatever works for you. Um, just using uh, the decoration there, I've never used that one before, I just haven't had any reason to, but I think it's really cute. Um, I also, I forgot to put a computer down, or I didn't forget, I just didn't put a computer down. Um, this home was, in my mind, going to be a starter home. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out that way, I couldn't keep it under the budget that I needed it to be. So, it's an almost a starter home, we'll go with that. Um, it's about 25000 I believe, after, or sorry, including the lot. So, yeah, I put in the roof, if you want to call it that, on the top floor. Um, the roofing I have a hard time with. It never, I just think it looks funny most of the time, especially with, um, like, two different levels like that. So I like using the half walls as ceilings and then, or as roofs, and then I just put, you know, paint on the top. Playing with the stairs here, turn to the side how I wanted it. Um, I really don't like that underneath part, but I didn't really know what to put there. I do get rid of it. And then uh, we use that space as um, part of the area for the dining room table. Just decorating here, um, putting in the chalkboard, um, that one and the other one that's, um, I believe, I assume came with, um, get to work where um, like the retail stores um, that menu looking thing most of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about but that one's also my um, I really like putting in kitchens um, this one just obviously filled the space better so we up to the patio um, I wanted to use the um, umbrella thing here um, it didn't really fit and I figured it would kind of be awkward having a six-person patio table directly outside your bedroom window might be a little bit creepy so I decided to get rid of it um, I put in a little yoga mat and a easel here um, just because I figured that would be a really nice place to you know go and relax um, and I wanted to put a bookshelf in the corner but it just didn't fit so I did a planter box instead I think that it would be really cute to have a nice little garden up there Ideally, I would have liked to do a little bit more landscaping up here, but I was running out of money quickly, so I kind of was skimping on a lot of things, trying to, you know, make the money last. It didn't last in the end, but um, we were close. <laughs> uh, so doing the bathroom here, um, choosing the spa details, of course. 
um, shower sink and toilet uh, just the bare necessities no bathtub though you could fit in one of the uh, bathtubs in the corner there if you wanted to um, I put in wall lights because I um, have been really enjoying those more so than the like ceiling lights which I used to use all the time um, I don't have move objects move objects on right now I don't put it on until I do the landscaping later so um, things are like not fitting properly because of the uh, door which is kind of irritating <laughs> but not a big deal I guess I'm just putting in the dining room table now I think oh no just kidding doing the rest of the paint on the outside um, I uh, do it I think it's a siding a dark siding um, I don't like painting the whole house in the same color because I think it looks you know boring and just not very nice um, I'm actually surprised with how well I think this turned out because like I said I really don't like the wallpapers and stuff in the sims right now um, there's never really anything that I can find that I actually enjoy using so I'm happy with how that turned out now we're doing the dining room table I'm um, just fitting it in a little bit we squish it in right next to the stairs um, I do end up putting in a back door so that gets moved a little bit more um, yeah I think we are just about done got to put in the um, living room I um, decide to put it there um, I use the kids stuff pack um, frame or TV stand uh, because I like it way better than the other TV stands I really wish that you could use all of the tables and counters versus just you know the three or four TV stands that come that are like actually in that section um, you saw there that I ran out of money and I kind of looked around to decide if there's anything that I could get rid of just decided to give myself a bit more money um, since I was over budget technically anyways but, um, if you wanted to make it um, a starter home um, I could go in and um, probably get rid of a few windows get rid of some of the landscaping and then you could just add that to your own taste once your sims were a little bit better off but um, that's up to you just if you guys want it I can definitely do that putting in a rug um, I did leave them white just because I didn't want to put too much more color there with the couch and this table has the um, the blue on it um, in looking at it again the table is definitely a little bit dark I think probably could have done something else that like a different uh, color for it but it's really frustrating when you can't pick the uh, table runners color as well as the table color so you know that's a little bit frustrating but I'm just joining the gazillion other simmers with that particular complaint so I won't go on about it too much my computer just went to sleep my monitor so I can't see what I'm doing ah, okay there we go so yeah um, I think we're just going this is when I decide to put in the back door because who likes to walk all the way around their house just to get into the backyard not me I'm lazy um, which means I have to get rid of that window I put in a smaller one I think um, the heights of the windows also kind of frustrate me they're not you know it's just hard to match up especially with the door so it is a little bit off there but it's okay I think it turned out all right I really wanted a nice big tree this one was too big it went right into the patio so I picked um, the pink one which I think ended up actually looking really nice given how colorful the lot is um, I spin it around a whole bunch because there's one side that is basically completely flat and looks funny so I spin it around so that side's on the house and then uh, yeah we go into the backyard so that you can um, there's like a little sitting area back there um, like I said if you wanted you could um, add to it once your sims are you know not just starting out um, right now it is pretty bare bones as you will see doing my train painting um, I remembered a mailbox I did not put in an outdoor garbage can since there's one right there figured it was a little bit unnecessary and then now we're going to the backyard I think oh I wanted to put in a patio I thought about it um, I didn't end up leaving it I take it back off but I keep the foundation because I think the house looks nicer with you know when it's up not just on the grass um, but it's just one that you can step up to it doesn't need stairs or anything so um, 
that's good. In the backyard, officially. I put another big tree um, back there. I just, I love trees. I think they look great, especially big, tall trees like that. Um, they're like a huge selling point for houses and, you know, real life in quotations. <laughs> so um, I always put them in in The Sims. Um, I didn't think I left those blue, but I must have. So you can always change those colors to match more the inside of the house. And then we just do some terrain painting here, making it look like so it's actually used. Uh, a few flowers, and then I put some of the you know darker grass mixed in with the sand texture there instead. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.